What's up everybody, Krista here and welcome back to the channel. So we're back out in the shed again and working on the E30. I was pretty much up to the stage of wanting to get some sort of wheel alignment set up on it. Just because everything had been apart and was all out of whack. So I started setting up some bars on the usual jack stands on either side and whatnot. Couldn't find two of my jack stands. Turns out they were in a mate's place. So I decided to just go ahead and fabricate up so a bolt-on and adjustable string line bracket set to so these bolt on to the bumper mounts and they're quite easy to remove and then the rear I just made these little tubes up sort of hard to see on that side I'll show you on this side so just have these little tubes with the bolt just pinches that and just slide that in and out and these two bars front and back have slots in them at exactly the same distance apart and then I just use that to get my square and I can adjust these up and down left and right same with the front the front is a bit harder to go up and down but still doable I'm just going to have to put a slot in that hole there so I haven't actually done a lot of wheel alignment stuff especially with string line and all that uh, so I've just been doing a heap of googling and homework so I'm actually really excited to learn more with this car especially with the alignments and stuff especially when I get these on because then it's going to make a huge difference once I've got the slicks on so with this it was slightly out of whack and it had more toe out on this side than the other side I actually got it relatively close considering it had all been fully apart and I just eyeballed it I have got a strap holding the wheel straight just tied to the seat and I've managed to get it down to see if you can see this 1.3 front toe out, Ooh. 0 0.7 on that side, 0 0.68 on that side, toe in sorry, not toe out, so I'm just going to do a bit of homework, see where I actually want them to sit and what's best for setups on E30s when they're running slicks, so I'm just going to also try and find a notebook, like a decent sized notebook and I can start taking notes and start collecting more and more data ready for when we do go to the track I can sort of feel what happens and do changes and actually have some data to go back on and keep a record of everything so while I wait for it to go dark and I'll suss out the computer work later on I'm going to tr start trying to suss out how I want to mount the boot lid now because before it was literally just tech screwed on which was a bit hoary so I'm just gonna sit it on there and do a bit of brainstorming and see if I can make something. I saw some quite nice, uh, pretty much bonnet pins, they're little push clips. But then I'd have to order them and wait for them and I might do yet, we'll see. I'll set it on there and have a bit of a brainstorm. Okay guys, I'll show you how I ended up tying the boot lid down. Um, I didn't have any clips or anything obviously so at the moment I've just ran some rivnuts nuts down in here and two rivnuts nuts here. This is where it was actually tech screwed on before but thought better do it a bit, a bit tidier. So I'm just using M5. So I'm just using M5 riv nuts with a stainless penny washer and a rubber washer that's actually off of like roofing screws. They actually work perfectly so Nice cheap way to fix it down for now. And it's pretty solid. So I was pretty happy with that. After I got the boot lid tied down, there was still a bit of daylight. So I managed to sneak the car out for a quick lap around the block and I was super stoked with how it went. Um, last time I took it out, I had a couple of issues. I only got a couple of meters down the road, but um, that time I managed to lap around the block, give it a bit of a squirt. It was only cruising though, but super happy.
in shape pretty well. So I'm gonna call it for this video and I have ordered some more parts, I ordered my new harnesses. Uh, I'll have to get myself a race suit and stuff as well. Um, so there's a few more bits to come for the car. So we'll chuck them on in the next video and getting pretty close to reunion now. So see you in the next one.